What's, What's up, guys? guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. Today, we're going to be telling you guys a little bit about our current life situation, what's going on with me, George, and the little baby. Um, just basically give you guys a life update, flash, like cheese made, you know? So if you want, you can pause the video right now, go to the kitchen, get some water, some chips, some cereal, whatever you got, and come back and play the video. You guys ready? All right. Honestly, you guys, I don't even know where to begin. There's just so much going on all at once. We just feel like everything is falling down on us. It started off, I think, last week when I actually lost my job. Yes, guys, I lost my job. And for the dumbest reason, too, everything was going good. I've been working for the company for about a year and a half. And a lot of you don't know what it is that I do because obviously I never talk about it. But I was actually a FedEx driver. I would load the truck. I would organize it how I have to organize it and then leave the station, deliver and come back. And I was always the first one back. I was done with the route maybe by 2.30. And my other coworkers were done like around six o'clock. And it was just like that for a really long time because I ended up mastering the city where I deliver at. So it just became easy. And I just knew where to go and how to get there and how to deliver and just the fastest way possible to get it done. And my goal when it comes to work is just going to work, finish the job and go home, that's it. It didn't require me to help anybody. Back when I first started the job, I would finish at 9 p.m. and no one would help me. So that's just kind of how it goes. You know, we're supposed to handle our own and that's it. My boss approached me about with some new policies saying that if I get like a little complaint over a big or a small box, which I did get a complaint, I left the box by a mailbox. The customer didn't like it. And apparently when that happens, $400 of my check gets taken out for the week. And that's a lot of money. And if you think about it, there's a lot of locations to where I'm going to. If I get like two or three mistakes on the job, I'm not really gonna get a check at all. If anything, I'm gonna be owning my boss. Already, I wasn't kind of liking that anymore. All right guys, sorry about that. I have to get the baby blanket so it's a computer because she is being really, really fussy. I'll be right back. So basically, George was saying, if he gets a complaint, he's gonna end up owing $400, which I actually wanted to add to that before George ever became like a FedEx driver and he also used to work at Amazon which is basically the same thing and I'm pretty sure all of you guys out there also when you guys receive packages you don't really think about the worker and like all the other stops that he gets which I know for a fact you guys don't because I didn't I just thought about my package itself and I would get really upset, you know, when it'd be like, oh, it's gonna get here Thursday, but really it didn't get here Thursday. What got me really mad about like George saying that his boss, they would owe $400 or whatever because someone complained. Oh shit, you see? <laughs> Why would you complain? You got your package, it was not stolen. So where George delivers, they have long driveways and he delivered it at the bottom, but they wanted it all the way at the top. Those people don't think about all the other stops that George has to go to and the trouble that he has to go through to drive that big old FedEx truck up to their little driveway. With this job, it was Monday through Friday and sometimes even six days a week. Heavy work, but you know, I was used to it. Like I said, I was pretty fast. And my boss started thinking that he was overpaying me because I was so fast. Normally with the route that I do, people are done like at six or seven o'clock and I was done before three. And then he started doing the math apparently saying that he was paying me 50 an hour, that I wasn't benefiting him, which I don't understand because whether I finish at 2.30 or whether I finish at 7 o'clock, the job is still getting done the exact same, just faster. Everything still gets delivered. I don't know how he isn't profiting out of this, you know? How Vanessa was saying that the houses I go to have long driveways, it's true because in Saratoga, is the city I was working in, it's almost mansions and I had all the mountains. I would go really, really far. Obviously, you can see I have a baby right here. She's already about one and four months. When I first got the job, I was like a month in. The baby was getting ready to come out that same day and my boss didn't even like let me stay. I like, know, that was so like, sorry to cut you off, yeah. but um, I was really upset because obviously when George first got that job, I was already gonna be due. The baby ended up coming early, so which was unexpected. I called George and I was like, hey George, I was like, I think my water broke, like come back. When he came back, his boss didn't even let him have the day off or anything. He was all like, hey bro, like are you coming back? Like let me know what's yeah. going on, da 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 da. All he cared about was him and his company and the job getting done. Another thing I didn't like about him too is that with him, it's work before family. So he was trying to get George to go in when I was supposed to have the baby. George like kind of felt like he needed to go in and like I was getting kind of mad at George because he I was felt like, pressured. yeah, he was going to go in and I was like, dude, like you can't go because like 
any second like the baby could come out luckily he didn't go because i actually dilated pretty fast and like within the time that george was gonna say like oh i'm gonna go like the baby i was already pushing her out yeah but anyways not only that but those days that you stay at the hospital those three days that you stay in the hospital to like heal or whatever for I them still to watch you he was still leaving me in the morning and going to help which was really upsetting because it's like he should have been considerate like you know what man like take those three days off like be with your girl at the hospital then you could come back like he said he wasn't even actually working yet he was getting trained the training wasn't even that necessary for him to miss out on like seeing his kid the driver that was training me actually had a suspended license so fedex keeps up whether you have a dui or you just aren't supposed hey. to be driving what he needed me to do was at least go into work pull out the truck out of the station and then i wasn't going to go to work you know all i had to do was just do that and then i would go back with vanessa but then when he was done with the route i would go back to the station which was obviously inconvenient and to put the truck back in and he promised me he would pay me and i didn't get paid for it at all i know hello like bs another thing that i wanted george to say he would tell george like oh the only reason your daughter has food on her table or on her plate is because of me as in him which by the way he's lucky that he didn't get punched in the face for saying that because <laughs> what the heck she has all the macaroni on her face what the hell and look at my legs oh my gosh she made a mess but he's lucky he didn't get punched in the face because first of all he is not the reason why the baby has food on her plate it's george's hard work showing up to work every day delivering and doing his job not because of that freaking guy i don't know it was just really annoying and like i'm glad that george is able to be a bigger person and like keep his cool and not do anything to that guy because who says that you're supposed to be a manager you can't talk to your employees the way you want regardless if you're the owner or you're the manager whatever you want to call yourself all this is going on with me and george that he got let go which by the way i don't care and like i support george all the way of not going back to that stupid guy because he didn't know how to value George. He doesn't know how to talk to his employees. And that guy, he's not someone that you would want to work for. Because not only does he tell George, oh, you're lucky your daughter has food on your plate. Not only does he threaten George to take out money from his check because of complaint. He also would not take no for an answer if he couldn't go into work. If he had an emergency, he would not take no. I remember one time, I think our car wouldn't turn on because we like left the light on or something like that. And George told him like, oh no, it was because our garage door broke. Oh and yeah, then, and then um, we can't take the car out. George told him like, hey, you know what? Our garage door broke and like, we can't take the car out. Like, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to go in today. Like, I'm going to have to take my girl to go talk to our landlord and George, try to fix it and fix. all that stuff, right? And then he ended up telling George, Oh man, I hella need you to come in. Like, I'll get you an Uber. Da 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 da. I remember me and him had the conversations, like saying, like, you know what, man? Like, it's not even worth it. Like, to work with him, like someone that doesn't even give you the time yeah. off for your family when it's an emergency. I know. So I remember that you were gonna quit, and then the only reason George ended up not quitting was because that guy actually ended up giving him a raise. Yeah. And like that's the only time he'll ever give anybody a raise because they're gonna quit. There's like maybe two other drivers that have been there longer than me. He started paying two other guys that had got there after me more than me. So I wanted like a bit of a raise. You know, I'm doing the work. Besides that one complaint that we brought up, I was barely getting complaints, I was getting the job done. Me, if I got a little bit of stops or hella stops, I would get it done. Like my mentality was just to empty the truck and just go home as soon as possible. That's all I had in my mind. And I don't know, like I was just kind of stressing out just cause like the job was getting kind of difficult and I, I kind of didn't want to do it cause I feel like I wasn't getting paid enough and I know that I could have got a little more money. People were just saying, oh, like, like what was going on with you? Like, well, like why are you bringing this up? Like. Like, yeah. like when he was talking to me, I was like, honestly out of words, I didn't know what to say. And then the manager comes in saying, oh, I, I do this. When I'm off work, I got to go do Lyft or Uber to like survive. But in my mind, like I respect that, but that's your life. You know, like you're talking to me like I want that to be my life. Like, no, like I actually got dreams. When I started that job, I always told this guy, I'm not going to say his name. I won't say his name. I almost... <laughs> I would always tell this guy that I would give him maybe two years or maybe longer because he was going to make me manager and he never did. He told me twice and he never came to me. You know, he always promised me more money and it didn't happen. But I always told him that I'm not going to be working here forever because like there's people who work at FedEx for like 10, 15 plus years. And you know, like that's not what I want for me. You know, like I actually want to live like a, a good life. 
like and do something that I actually like to do. This happened on a Wednesday when we had an argument and then uh, he came back to me before I was gonna leave the station. He was like, oh, it'll be good. I was like, yeah, man, we're good, we're good, whatever, you know? And I'm the kind of person where like, I keep a lot of stuff in when it comes to work and then I just let it out. Like, maybe I came off too strong or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Like I, I said what I wanted to say to him and it's out, that's good. I mean, not everything. I, I could have cussed him out, I'll probably slapped his ass. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That talking about uh, sucking his ass, which I didn't obviously. He was talking about whether oh, like I can take four hundred out of your check and I can fire you. And what are you gonna do? You, are you gonna kick my ass? Are you gonna beat me up? No, no, you, you're not gonna do. Shit. Like he straight up said that to me, crazy. But and keep in mind, he's supposed to be a manager. Yeah. Like right. I said again, so, what manager talks like that? Yeah. So it happened on the Wednesday, and so I still went to work Thursday. I still went to work Friday, and that Saturday I actually had it off. There goes Vanessa with the baby again. Bye bye, baby. So the point is, on Sunday night he told me to not to go in on work on Monday, saying that he was gonna slip my route because I guess Mondays now are really really light to the point to where I'm off like at 11.30 and I know he didn't like that. But Monday night, when he told me that he was gonna tell me the schedule, which I don't know why, I would've just gone in on Tuesday, texting me, telling me something like, you know what, I think you should get another job or work with a different contractor. So kind of fired me, you know, he didn't say you're fired, but kind of like what he told me in a text and asked me what I want to do long-term because of what I said that I don't want to work there forever. But the thing is, like, I was still going to work. I still finished the week. Like, I'm not stupid. I was still going to work. I was getting the money. And, like, the work can be tough sometimes. And I, I told him, you know, it got to the point to where I don't want to wake up and go to work. But you know what? Like, who doesn't feel like that? You know, everybody feels like that. I was still going to work. I was still getting done fast. When he told me all that, I just decided not to reply at all because I just didn't want to deal with it anymore and he said he was gonna hit me up on sunday to ask me if i still want to work with him but i mean since i didn't reply he never got back to me i mean we talked it over you know like obviously we need the money but you know it just wasn't worth it working for him like the job was tough but i think what was even harder was dealing with him honestly and he thought he was this great ass guy really humbling really giving really like like he even told me to my face saying oh you're not gonna get a job that paid you better than this but like bro like it was like seven hundred dollars a week. I, I can go to school. And for the two goal years. is to make yeah. more than seven yeah, hundred dollars he, a week. Like he's acting like if that's satisfying me, like no. Like if, if I make a, a thousand a week or two thousand a week after taxes, like it's satisfying, but I always want to get more because I want to give the best life that I can for the baby and for us. Like the goal is to keep going, to keep getting more, not to stay stuck. Yeah, sure, George is making $700 a week. And like right now at our current life, like situation, $700 a week is a lot. But if you think about it, there's so many people out there that make double that, like freaking even more than that. And it's like the goal is to make more not to be content like for us to live a better life and like the way he was talking to george like oh you're not gonna get paid this much anywhere else is like do you really think that george is gonna stay there for the rest of his life like do you really think that george can't go to school freaking get a better job get a degree and do better like i'm going to school i'm trying to earn a degree like he said a better life for him for me and for the baby and for any other babies that we might want to have stay tuned <laughs> like i don't know the point is that guy is just trash i personally never met him of course but everything that george tells me about him is like he's just a no another thing i wanted to bring up is like how george said that he told his boss like oh that the bills were stacking up and like i'm not working right now because i'm staying home with the baby but like after all this happening to us and like us trying to figure out what we're gonna do about our rent how are we gonna pay our bills i'm currently in the process of looking for a job and so is george it's really a stressful time for both me and george right now and luckily me and george were fortunate enough for my sister's boyfriend to offer george like um a part not part-time but like temporarily work for him for him to be able to make some type of money for us to be able to pay our bills so you know we're really lucky that we have someone in our life that was able to give george like that opportunity because if not honestly i don't know what would be happening with us i don't know if george wants to come back so a thing about me and George that you guys might not know is that unlike literally everyone else out there Literally everybody They have parents that they can rely on Go back to their house, go back to living with their parents, borrowing money, whatever the case is But me and George don't have parents that we can go live with and just be like Oh, we're chilling, like we could stay here with my mom until we Get figure it out again Yeah, like my mom passed away two years ago Sadly, like, you know, she's not here with us 
this no more so I don't have anyone to rely on. My sisters have her own family. My dad and George's dad are both deported in Mexico and George's mom has her own bills to pay and like, you know, her own responsibilities. My mom already has a lot going on. She still has my baby sister living with her. She works six days a week. Like five days a week for her is not enough. It's honestly crazy the economy that we live in, you know? We come from nothing. We have no help. I've been living on my own since I was 18. I was living with my grandma before, but now it's not even an option anymore. And even if it was, I can't because I have a family to provide for and space for the baby to play, for us to have our things. Yeah, so basically the point is me and George don't have anyone to rely on. It's either we get it done for ourselves or we're out on the street. So for you guys that actually have parents that you can freaking go ask them for money, live with them, leave your kids with them and act like you never had a kid. Be good to your parents. Yeah, because like, we, I wish I had that and I'm pretty sure she does yeah, too. Yeah, like for sure, don't take that for granted. Like you won't know what you lose until you don't have it anymore. Like I would take my mom for granted so much, which I regret. Like I regret it so much. Like, I just wish I could get my mom back and like treat her better and like just not take her for granted because now that I don't have her, I just like realized like, dang, like I could have done this for her. I could have done that for her. And like, I don't know, like obviously my mentality changed as me becoming a mom, but like my mom always used to tell me like, oh, like you don't cook for me, da 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 da. And like, honestly, I don't really know how to cook much, but I try and like the little things that I make now for me and George, like I could have made that for my mom. Like I could have tried, but I just didn't because at the time, like I was still young. Don't take your parents for granted. Like everything you have, like you guys are blessed to have parents that you can rely on and ask them for money and like just be able to go to them whenever you can. Or if you need someone to watch your baby and you want to go hang out with your friends, like your parents are okay to watch them. Like we don't do that. I haven't seen my friends like in a year and a half, two years even. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind, you know, my friends are my friends. They know uh, I'm a father now. Like they know I'm taking care of responsibilities. But you know, like other parents who are around our age, we're going out like every weekend and drinking and partying. Yeah, like every other week. But I mean. Like we're not hating, but it's just like they, yeah. have, they, have, they have the kind of help that we don't have. And like when it comes to us, it's just literally just us. Yeah, like at least they have the option to be able to be like, hey, you know what? Like this concert is coming up. Let me ask my mom if she could watch the baby. Or this house party Like we back. don't have the option. And like either way, I was never the type to go to parties or ever go to a concert or none of that. So I don't really care for that. But if me and George wanted to like take a trip or something, like we don't have that option. And either way, I love my baby and I feel like I wouldn't want to leave her either way. Yeah. But if an emergency came up where it's like, oh, I have to go to school and take a test and George is working and I can't. Like, I don't really have that option to be like, hey, mom, watch my kid, you know? Pretty much that's what's going on with us in our life. George got fired, like... But we had just enough money to make it for the month. That's it. Yeah, After that, we're dried so, out everything to the dollar. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I hope that something good comes out of what has happened to us. I don't know. I just believe everything does happen for a reason. And I hope that me and George are able to make it out and just become better people from this experience and like I don't know just learn from it and just pray for us you know that we get a good job or you know that our life situation like goes up or something because like after this month we're not gonna have money to pay our rent we don't have anyone to ask for money like we don't have anywhere to go we literally have nothing like we can lose the car like I got a car brand new for us to be able to transport the baby in a safe car that had airbags and it was just up to date kind of like it's not really 2014 but we can lose that and all the money that we've been paying for a, a year and a half like it's just gone yeah. and we lose the car and we owe money i mean i don't know how it works honestly it's my first car i'm actually like financing to be yeah, honest yeah so like you know just pray for us and hope that we're able to get a good job or something like me and george have both been applying for jobs i'm going to school like like I said, we're really lucky that my sister's boyfriend is going to take George to work with him and do like some side jobs so we could get some type of income coming in. But honestly, if we didn't have that, we for sure would be like dead, like not knowing what to do. And like, I don't know, it just sucks that we have to go through this. But like I said, I support George all the way, not going back to that boss. All I gotta say is him. Like, we're done with that. <sighs> You're right though, because 
when I was working for him, I could get no days off. And then all of a sudden he was saying, I know. Take the week off and I'll, I'll let you know next week. And I know, that's that another that's another way how we knew that George was like looking yeah, for yeah, because yeah. all of a sudden, um, the guy is telling George, oh, take the whole week off, like figure out what you're trying to do with your life. Like if you want to come back to work for me or not, like, he oh. Had, and he had no spare employees. So all of a sudden, George is able to get a whole week off. Like, oh, now you have the driver to do George's route? Like what about the times that I needed someone to take me to my daughter's appointment? Or what about the times that it was an emergency and he just couldn't get the day off and now he could get a whole week off? It was pretty like bullshit to be honest because um, like, I don't know, I think earlier George said, a guy texts him saying like, hey, you know what man, like figure out what you're gonna do with your life, your long-term goals and stuff like that. Like, first of all, why are you gonna get butt hurt? about a worker telling you that he's trying to better himself and that he doesn't want to work here for the rest of his life. Like, why get mad? You know, I'm glad that George is actually a person that wants to do better for himself and not be one of those people that just want to be stuck at the same job until they're freaking 40 or 50. Like, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, I'm glad that he has goals in his life and that he wants the best for him and his family and not just be stuck and want to live that way. Like. I want to live a nice life. I want to have at least one nice car. Like, I'm not asking for that much. I want to have my own house, modern house. Like, I'm not going to get that. Just hand it to me. I need yeah. to work for it. Yeah. And that's going to be my goal. So stay tuned, guys. You're going to see me driving a little g way. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, like, my goal is like to actually have my mom. I have plans for her if I ever do start making a lot of money in the future. But I mean, I don't want to say it here in the video because, you know, she watches our videos. Hi mom, I love you. My sisters, you know, like they've just been through it a lot. It'd be nice to be able to help them out. I also want to make money because George wants to be able to help out his family, but like, I don't know, I also want to be able to help out my family. And like, I wouldn't feel comfortable George being the only one making money and me being like, hey, give me money to help my family. Like, which I wouldn't mind, but. Which I don't like that. Like, I want to make my own money. I want to make my own money so I can help my family as well. And like. Sandra, huh? be able to give my family whatever I want to give them. Like, I just want to be able to help out my family and of course George's family. Like, me and George aren't thinking about just each other and our family. Like, we're thinking about all of our family. We want to help all of each other out. I hope you guys enjoyed our video talking about our life update slash like cheese what's going on with us. And I just hope that we're able to make it for the next couple months and for our situation to just get better and not have to worry about not making the rent. But we are gonna keep creating videos for YouTube and for you guys. We actually are loving what we do. With At least with all this, I'm doing something that keeps me happy with the people that make me happy and that I love. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give our video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for our life situation improving. And how are you not gonna give our video a thumbs up? I see you guys, you watch our videos, but you don't click that thumbs up. Click the thumb. <laughs> just put the thumb right there. Just put your finger on the mouse. Scroll down. Click. click. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.